Hi folks, Mike Wesley here, and today we're going to talk about the Flash Forge Creator Max. So I've got one of these. I've had it for about four months, and it's taken me a while to figure it out. I made a lot of mistakes up front, but out of the box, it'll print amazing if you know a couple of tricks. I'm going to give you some spoilers probably probably within the first minute, and I think this video is it's my second take. It was 20 minutes the first time, so it's probably going to be 18 this time. So let's move forward. Uh, here's the front view. You've got your touch screen. It's got an enclosed box. Um, it's not completely enclosed. You can see the um, on the top, on the acrylic top part, it's open, but it prints ABS fine. No problems. Metal frame. Um, I've got some rep wraps that are like Prusa's. Uh, the metal frame is really nice. It's it's simple. It's sturdy. It just works. Um, everything stays. Um, basically, you get your your um, your part square, which is really nice. Um, leveling knobs are pretty cool. They're kind of big. So you know, my originally I had little tiny nuts on my other printers. That's nice. We're gonna talk a lot about these cooling fan and come back to this picture soon. So features dual extruder. This is nice. On um, the Flash Forge product line, Flash, yeah. Um, this video pertains to probably most of those except for the separate dual extruders, um, the higher end one. High level print quality. Print quality is really good. I like the knobs. You can use software that's not proprietary to them, but it does come with software that works from them. Wi Fi connectivity. It's got a heated build plate. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, get one with a heated build plate, any, a printer or whatever. Uh, bill volume 227 by 148 by 150 initially I thought when I opened the box I wasn't paying attention to the numbers and I looked at it, it was like oh this is small it's tiny because I'm used to I've got 200 by actually it's yeah 200 by 300 by 200 on my rep wraps so it's much bigger but the thing is the difference is the build plate this one is far solid and flat and I've been checking the temperatures with my temperature gauge and it's consistent in temperatures uh, to the edge. And that's the thing about the size. So it's not small. I can print a headband, a Prusa headband or other things all the way. Um, but I'm not going to print something super large. And that's okay. Extruder temperature goes to 240. It's got a, a really nice extruder on it. Uh, uses the Bowden tube. And bed temperature goes to 120. This means you can print PLA. Um, you can even print exotics if you want. So PLA, PETG, ABS, hips, um, flexible nylon, it prints more of that stuff. Spoiler alert, here we go. The left extruder has a cooling fan for the part. The right extruder does not. That is information that I did not know. I'm holding up my right hand. 90% of us are right-handed. So typically when you start the machine, when I started the machine, and I'm going to tell you up front, and I put my PLA in the right extruder and I use their software and it doesn't work and then I use my Simplify 3D and it doesn't work and I'm getting clogs galore so now I know how to rebuild that extruder assembly really well which actually is very easy you have to watch the videos on YouTube once you get used to it it is so fast you can you know it just takes a cooling time in order to unclog it but now that I understand why it was clogging I haven't had a clog since so that's that's good and let's see, the spool holders, they only fit the flash forward spools. I mean, you know, basically they kind of have these big round holes and they're kind of, they're, they're chubby and short. And uh, no disrespect to anybody, but you know, it's like they just don't fit. Like I've got some uh, other spools and they just don't fit the spools. So we'll talk about that. Must know. Left extruder. Use only with materials that require cooling. That's going to be PLA and PETG. Right extruder, use for whatever. You, materials, you know, you can use the right or the left for materials that don't need cooling. That's your ABS and other stuff. What if you need cooler cooling in both extruders? That's the magic question. And there's a simple answer for it. That's in our go fast parts, our hop ups. So, go fast parts. Everybody likes go fast parts. I was just watching Jitney racing on YouTube. I mean, I, I don't know. I like Formula One and all that stuff. Go fast, you know. So, oh, Thingiverse. You want to, oh, Thingiverse.com. T-H-I-N-G-I-V-E-R-S-E. Thingiverse.com. That's where you want to go for your, your uh, get, get all these parts. First thing you need, find yourself some longer spool holders for the um, Flash Forge Creator Pro or something. You need these. Print these up in PLA. They're going to work, okay? Um, they'll hold the spools. What happens if you don't do this? Um, I'll share that in a minute actually too. The cooling fan duct. 
here you go. This is on Thingiverse, and there's some good YouTube videos. There's a guy out there with some uh, other ones. They have many designs. There's right. But the thing is, when you, this gives you a Y right here. Um, and then here are your two extruders, extruder nozzles. And this thing can blow from one fan on the left side of the printer, print head, over to both. This gives you the ability to print two colors in PLA or print support material with PLA. And you can see it here. If you don't have, this should be made with a high temperature material, but if you only have PLA, let's say the spool of PLA that came with the printer, print one of these with PLA. It's only gonna last a while, a short while. I don't know what a short while is. It's gonna work, but eventually it's gonna melt and you need, no, need another one. So it's better, you don't have to initially just go out and buy yourself a spool of PETG or ABS just to print this part. You can start with PLA. And for $6 to $8, you can go on Amazon.com or somewhere or eBay or Alibaba and get some Kapton tape. And you can wrap the Kapton tape around, that's with a K, around these parts. And that's going to make it last longer. So if you only have PLA, um, go ahead and print one of these with PLA. And if you can get the Kapton tape, that's going to take it one more step. And if you can print it in a high temperature plastic, such as PETG or ABS, that's where you want to go. But you don't have to start like that. Okay. And then uh, the other thing too, this is necessary. I was gonna mention your spool holders. This goes with your spool holders. This is a filament ex extension. So what happens, these Bowden tubes, these two plastic flexible tubes snap to the back of the um, Creator Max or Creator Pro box. And what happens is the filament comes off and goes up against the frame. And then when you're not looking, and uh, it's gonna wrap itself outside of the spool and around itself and then around the spool holder and then pull and then your print gets messed up and you come back and you're like, oh, what happened? This is a critical part. You need to print one of these with PLA as soon as you can. Um, this is like the first thing I really suggest printing even, the filament thing. And so it, it just, it keeps your filament from wrapping itself around the, uh, the spool holder and then messing up your part. The extruders, dual extruders. So I tried to blow this up, so let's take a look. The fan hangs off over here on the left side. Again, it blows right here. It can, this one is for the, this is a part cooling fan. And you need the part cooling fan for PLA and PETG. But look, it only goes to this side. There's no fan over here, and this doesn't extend over here. That is the fundamental problem. So you never want to print PLA or PETG out of the right extruder. And I assume that's the way you did it. So let's talk about following the formula for printing parts. We're gonna keep it simple. Use the KISS method. Keep it simple, smarty. So, um, PLA, use the left extruder. Um, actually, the software that comes, the Flash Forge Print, actually can do some of this stuff. Not a lot, but it works with PLA and I think ABS. I used it with PLA and it worked, but I'm using Simplify 3D exclusively now. Um, Left extruder only for PLA unless you've modified, you know, your extruder and by that time you understand. Temperature 190 to 220, you know, you figure out your temperature, use a, um, you know, use a tower or something or whatever, call the manufacturer, whatever. Don't cool the first layers. Don't cool the first layers. That'll make it adhere better. Don't ever put PLA in that right extruder. It's going to clog. Believe me. And then you get to learn how to unclog your machine. Heated bed optional for PLA but use it you have one set your temperature I use always 55 to 60 degrees Celsius the blue surface works great don't put any glue on it do not put any hairspray on it it's just gonna work always level your bed before you start to print um, some people especially if you're like one of those if you're like really focused just level your bed every time you do a print and man you're, you're gonna get amazing prints don't put the glue stick your, your blue surface is going to last, I don't know, some people, I've, I've got like 50 parts probably, I don't know, somewhere between 40 and 50 parts on one blue tape. The first one I messed up because I put glue stick and hairspray on it and stuff, um, I bought extras and I'm on my second blue surface direct from uh, Flash Forge and it just works great. Now let's talk about support. If you optionally want to use support, um, you can. But you're going to have to use, you have to print yourself one of those Y cooling fan things in order to do so. You need that also to do two colors. But let's look at support. For PLA, the support material is called PVA. 
costs about double the price. So you, it's about 20 bucks for half a kilo. Printed at 185 to 200 C, requires cooling. So you need that, you need to make your cooling thing first. Um, so you have to do the fan duct modification and this stuff dissolves in water. It's like Elmer's glue stick, literally. So the cool thing is you put your part in water for an hour or so and then all the uh, supports dissolve. Um, however, PLA, the supports do work. When you're using um, the, the Flash Print software, Flash Forge Print, or if you're using Simplify 3D, it does work. The, um, you can use a single, you know, you can just make your supports with the same material or whatever. ABS, left extruder or right extruder. Doesn't matter because you don't need a cooling fan. If you use a left extruder, just don't turn on the fan. Print between 220 degrees Celsius to 250 Celsius on either extruder and no cooling. Um, heated bed, yeah, you need to use a heated bed. You're going to keep your temperature between 95 and 110 Celsius. You can use Kapton tape, ABS slurry, let's say on glass or something. Um, you can use something called PEI, PEI. I don't have it here. You can use that. Um, it, uh, the blue material won't work. The, the blue stuff, you're going to have to swap out. And you have to watch some videos on how to modify. If you use glass, you have to. if you have 3 millimeter thick glass, you have to modify your printer to support that and all that good stuff. Hips. If you want to use support material, it's called hips. That prints at 230 Celsius to 245 Celsius. No cooling. So you can use your right and left for um, however you want. And then your support material will dissolve in something called delimonene. Uh, this is kind of tricky to find, but it's it's not. I mean, it's really available. It's, it's an orange extract. So it comes from fruit, oranges. And uh, it's available at many hardware stores. You just have to look, and once you find it, it's you know, you'll, you'll, you'll have it. So that dissolves your supports. PETG, I like PETG. So the thing is, um, I'll probably, I, I personally have a lot of this. And um, the cool thing about PETG is it uses a standard blue surface. I have so much. I have one big printer, you know, one flash forge. And I do have glass for it that I bought, but I haven't installed it. But PETG is strong and it uses a standard blue surface. So when I switch between PLA and PETG, I don't have to do anything. You know, I don't have to modify the surface if I want to pick material. So with PETG, only use the left extruder. Do not use the right. Temperature 230 to 250. You got to figure that one out. Retraction. You need to calibrate retraction. So as it's printing, um, this stuff is real stringy. So and you can retract it maybe an extra one or two millimeters in the software. If yours is simplified 3D, I can do this. Um, that, that prevents the stringing and, and stuff. And then also, you like PLA, you don't want to cool your first layers. You want to turn your fan off. So the thing is, with the Flash Forge print software and with um, other software, you can control whether or not you want to cool those first layers. There's an option in Flash Forge print even for that. Heated bed, yeah, you want to keep it between 75 Celsius and 90. Um, use the standard blue surface. Use rafts with PETG if you want a really nice surface on the backside. Rafts really work well and keep your part looking nice. Nylon, flexible nylon. I forgot to put cooling here. Yes, you need to, um, no, no cooling. You do not need cooling. So, left extruder or right extruder because no cooling is necessary. Print from 225 to 265. I think this one goes to 240 if I'm correct again. Um, heated bed, you want to keep the temperature between 70 Celsius and 90 Celsius, and you can use the standard blue surface. So again, the wild card in all this is ABS. You need to modify your machine. And if you don't, if you do want to do ABS, great. Um, if you're not sure, just get, get yourself a spool of PETG, and then you can stay with this blue surface and print a lot of different materials. So, clogged extruders. You will get good at this. You have to YouTube the, how to do it. Uh, first time is scary second time is so easy so um you unscrew these two top screws that hold down the assembly that hold the, the these things on you remove the fan with two screws on the side that's clogged if you need you cut the filament um with some snippers that are under the fan you know and then you can pull out the extruder um and then they they give you a paper clip like tool in, those, in the extra parts you're going to use that you heat it up heat up the extruder and then you can squirt out the plastic and it works so unfortunately, because I was using the right extruders um, a lot, I had to do this a lot. And make sure that you put your fan back on correctly. There is, actually, let me show you. When we're looking at this thing, notice there's no stickers on these two fans. Um, I accidentally reversed my fans and put the stickers facing out, these silver stickers that tell you about the fan. 
that's bad. At that point, you've lost your cooling, and now you're guaranteed to clog every time. So be careful of that. And you can do it. It's easy. It just takes one um, Allen key. Software. Flash Forge Print does work, but it's limited in its features. It's, you know, it's pretty, it's, it's, if, it's, if you need something free, it works. Simplify 3D is what I use. Send them an email, and they will actually send you a, um, a um, oh, I cannot believe I can't think of what it's called. Let's go over. I have it up. They will send you do, 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 a process, a profile. That's what it is. They will send you a profile. So I'm printing some ailerons for RC plane. And let's go back to the presentation. They'll send you a profile, and it's written right there in front of me. Cura should work. I don't know. Slicer should work because it's open source software. It's not proprietary. Um, other software should work. Also, I do want to, last thing, is this printer is not the same as a Pro. It looks the same as the Pro, the, the FlashForge Creator Pro, but the firmware that drives it is not the same. It's newer firmware. So you can't just use the um, profile in software for the FlashForge Creator Pro and expect it to work. It's not. The, the nozzle goes way up, like four... four millimeters above the bed and does some weirdness so but you know just understanding that so contact the company get the profile for whatever software you're using is going to work all right thank you folks take care <laughs>